Ron. Hello, Ron's friend. Tammy, what could possibly bring you to a children's performance? Preparing a ritual sacrifice of a newborn? No, just trolling for some daddy. Oh, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Trolling for some dad D. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies, put your hands together for the one, the only, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. <laughs> A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. <laughs> I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. You're so lucky. I'm going to kill you. I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. But this stock photo I bought at a framing store isn't real. Today, I got the real thing. A naked Tammy made me breakfast this morning. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Whale tail. Whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail. Abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow. Just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. Come on, Leslie, you know I'm not sexist. I love powerful women. You do attend a shocking number of WNBA games. They're getting really old, and I'm an only child. I just feel like the right thing to do is to move back home. I'm sorry to see you go. I've really come to think of you as a companion. Hey, I don't suppose you'd want to move to Canada. <coughs> Canada? No, I don't suppose I would. This award is the only one I'd ever give a damn about. I made my first chair when I was five, but the quality of the wood was wanting, so when I turned nine, I used my factory wages to purchase some beautiful local walnut. Uh, thank you. For this, uh, this all good, night good. Uh, there it is. If you're here to complain about the pothole, I guarantee I did it correctly. Actually, I'm here to ask you out for dinner. Really? Well, I hope you're not the kind of man who needs to ask the lady out. I'm a middle school vice principal. I don't screw around. Does that freak you out? No, on the contrary. So dinner? Please and thank you. Well, it'll be casual. No need to wear makeup. I begrudgingly admit that the 311 program is a moderate success. I'm still not sure why the citizen decided to come speak with me in person, but I'm just happy to see a government program finally work. Hey, hey, hey. Alert, 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 alert. She's here, isn't she? Oh, hey, Ron. What a coincidence. Gosh, I never dreamed you'd be here. Tammy, this is Diane. Diane, this is a piece of human garbage named Tammy, who is also my ex-wife. Twice ex-wife. We were married twice. And divorced twice. Everything is done. They're totally done. Tammy, what are you doing here? Oh, I just have a little something I need to get drilled. Can I speak with you for a moment? Strippers do nothing for me. I like a strong, salt-of-the-earth, self-possessed woman at the top of her field. Your Steffi Graffs, your Cheryl Swoopses. But I will take a free breakfast buffet Anytime, any place. I have decided not to attend this year. Okay, first of all, it's disturbing that you wrote a memo at all, but 
You love arguing against government spending. Why do you not want to do it now? Leslie, please, the government knows what it's doing. I'm confident that I'll... Ouchie. You and I are going to lunch. We have to talk. Let me just call Tammy first and get permission. Oh, come on. Tammy, I was wondering if I could go to lunch with Leslie? Terrific. Bye. She says I can't go. You're going to lunch with me. I say you can go. Oh, gosh. I'm really in a pickle now. Oh, my God. Uh, mm. oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Lemonade? Please and thank you. Hey, I'm sorry if I was curt earlier. I'm a single mom, and sometimes things get chaotic around here. And when you shut up from the parts department... No need to apologize. I understand completely. This is delicious. Well, I got it from food and stuff, so... That's where I got these gloves. Right? So, how exactly are you gonna fix this hole? Just for my own edification. Uh, I dug the loose gravel out of the hole. Now I'm using a jackhammer to remove the larger pieces. Then I'll spray down the hole to settle the dust mm -hmm. and fill it with cold patch asphalt. Well, thank you. Now I can fix the next one myself. Ron and Diane sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Do you hear that bird? So your arrangement with Wendy, it really was completely platonic? Yeah, never so much as even kissed. Except for a little peck at the wedding ceremony for appearances. Uh, now that you're getting divorced, I sort of feel like there may be some potential with me and Wendy. Would it be okay with you if I was to ask her out once the fake dust settles? Yeah, um, why not? Sure. Looking at her, I, I feel like she might be the perfect spooning size for me. I'm gonna take a leak. She's near. Hey, Ron. Tammy. So you two are together now. My condolences to both of you. Mm. You guys were supposed to vote for me. Leslie, I would never do anything to help you. You've always been against me and Ron. You're a big part of the reason that he and I aren't together and I had to settle for this placeholder. Yeah, I love you so much. <sighs> so you thought if you voted for Ron, you could actually win him back? Yeah, that's right. To work, baby. Are you horny with gratitude? <laughs> you two more than deserve each other. Good luck. Ron, there are some things I want to speak to you about, but I'm not quite sure how to phrase them. Just blurt them right out, Leslie. Anything you say will stay between you and me. Right, my love? Stop fidgeting. Sorry. I was hoping to speak with Ron alone. He wants me here. He invited me. Na 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 na. Don't worry, Leslie. Tammy's totally cool. Oh, okay. Then I'll say it to her. You're evil, and you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, you are a panic. Tammy, may I use the restroom? Remember to wash your hands. You need to fix this. It's not that bad. Nobody got hurt. It's extremely bad. I love this woman, and I just want to show her that I'm capable of watching her children without something horrible happening. What? Did you just say you love Diane? No, I did not. Yes, you did. That is so cute. For God's sake, Hanson, will you please focus on the larger problem? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run mommy. Run okay. mommy. Girls, girls, I don't know what you think you heard, but please don't tell your mother what you incorrectly think you heard. Ron loves mommy. Ron loves mommy. I love nothing. <laughs> Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I was gonna wait until our anniversary, take you somewhere romantic, perhaps in a canoe, most likely in a canoe. I actually built a canoe for that purpose. But given the news, and given my significant feelings for you, now seems as good a time as any. 
Ron Swanson. Diane Lewis. Will you marry me? Yes. On one condition. Anything, my love. Ask me for anything in the world and I'll give it to you. Except a destination wedding. Just the opposite. We'd both be married before. I don't want anything big or elaborate. In fact, the smaller the better. I assume you can deal with that. Are you kidding? As far as I'm concerned, we could go up to the fourth floor right now. Swanson, did you tell Tom that you were going to ask out Wendy? It's complicated. What is wrong with you? I wish I wasn't alive to hear myself say this, but I am ashamed to be your deputy. I don't get men. If they're not wagering their girlfriends in pool, then they're trying to steal each other's wives. It makes you question the whole notion of those bromance movies. Tom! Great, good, okay. Could you carry him out of here, please? And, you know, also maybe not have sex with his wife? Thanks. From the knees! He weighs eight pounds. Hello, my name is Ron Swanson. I believe Leslie Nope may have left some kind of scavenger hunt clue here. She did. One second. Gentlemen. Uh. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. <laughs> At this very moment, Leslie is throwing herself in front of a freight train named Tammy. For me and you. Leslie is a wonderful, loyal friend who is very important in my life but I would sooner visit Europe than have something romantic happen between us. Although, if you'd like to visit Europe, I like you so much I'd be willing to risk it. But not France, right? God, no. See, you know me pretty well already. <laughs> It's been like this for hours. Hey, Swanson! Snap out of it! Leslie! Congratulate us. Look, Ron's got one just like it on his penis. Oh, yeah. What the hell happened to you? Well... You may now kiss the bride. It's been kind of a crazy night. Um, I need to get some flowers. Uh, why don't you hold this colorful bouquet of highlighters? Rice, I need to find some rice. I need to throw some rice. Why is there no rice in this municipal government building? I found a justice guy. These are the marrying people. This is Carl. Hello, Carl. My fiance and I would like to get married right now, right here. Haven't I done a quickie wedding for you before? It's certainly possible, but this one's going to stick. I need your full names for the license. Ronald Ulysses Swanson. Diane Tammy Lewis. Tammy? Your middle Just name Just kidding, it's Elizabeth. Let's go, Carl. Hey, hey, let's pump the brakes, Carl, OK? Belay that order, Carl. Shortest possible ceremony. I'm tired of not being married to this woman. Do you, Ron Swanson, Who take Diane gonna start? to be your wife? Who is I having... certainly do. Who am I and do you, Diane, Yes, take yes, her? I do. She said yes! OK. <sighs> Wait. The power vested in me? Before you, Carl, just one second. I would just like to give a short speech, if I may. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> At first glance, it may seem as though Ron Swanson and I have nothing in common. But Webster's Dictionary defines friend. Time. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. I could tell where you were going with that, and it was going to be beautiful. I now pronounce oh. you man and wife. Hooray! Yay! Great job, everyone. <laughs> the reception will be held in each of our individual houses alone. Pretend this is rice! I'm not going to let you destroy Ron. You're just going to have to... Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh! Better than that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Why are you hitting yourself, Glenn? Uh, uh, Stop 
Don't hit yourself. Uh, Tammy, <laughs> that's enough! Hey, baby. You almost had me. Again. But seeing you pick on this pathetic, defenseless little man hey. reminded me what kind of a monster you are. You're a joke. You're not even a man anymore. Oh, and by the way, last night, I faked four out of the seven. <laughs> so did I. Let's go, son.